Good morning. Okay, we are today we're going to review some more main idea. Um, if you look at the week at a glance, um, let's see, week at a glance yesterday, you should have made your newscast video um, about the main idea in detail. Um, Today, we are going to do some review, and you're also doing the um, last of the grammar warm up uh, 16. The video check is already there. And then tomorrow, we're going to take the star test. So, those of you at home will not be able to do that. But then Thursday, we're taking a main idea test, um, and you will be able to do that. It'll be on Edge Elastic. So today we're going to just do some review. At school I have um, like more like center station type things set up, but for at home, I just want you to practice with one um, worksheet. Um, so they give you, it's all about ice cream, okay? And they give you the categories. So one is the history of ice cream, another is ice cream cone facts, Another is ice cream flavors, and the other is other ice cream treats. So other than ice cream, so like you have, um, I know there's other ice cream treats like the ice cream bars and, you know, stuff like that. So it's other ice cream treats. What you are to do is you're going to read all of the supporting details, and you're going to put the letter of the correct one in here. So it shouldn't take you long. However, this can be a little confusing. What I would suggest is that you save the history of ice cream for last because um, in the past when students have done this, um, they think that all of it is the history. So look for ones that are specifically about cones and put B next to those. Look for ones that are specifically about the flavor of ice cream and then put C next to that. Look for ones that specifically talk about other ice cream treats. And then when you're done with those, go back and see if the other um, details would fit the history of ice cream. So that is the only one that you're going to do today. Um, this is, the link to this is on the, right, uh, let's see, right here, the worksheet. It's on your week at a glance. It says worksheet right here. If you click on that, it'll take you and you'll have to print it out. Um, However, some of you have not been doing the other assignments. So if we go back to last week's, um, hopefully you have been keeping up with the grammar warm-ups. Like I said, today's should be the last one. There is a video lesson for each one. Everything that we've done each day, I put a video lesson on there. Um, the ones that I really want to make sure you do, uh, Thursday you had a um, edge elastic assignment on snow leopards. Uh, make sure that you do that. The article snow leopards will be in your Google Classroom. So go in the Google Classroom. Uh, people have got different, um, slightly different articles. So that's why I didn't put it on here. I put it specifically just for you in your Google Classroom. So look there for it. Um, and then go to Edge Elastic to complete that. Also listen to the video lesson because that will help you. Then on Friday, I put a, an also on your Google Classroom, I put an article that you were supposed to read and the planning sheet is here and it is also in the Google Classroom. So you can get it either place and uh, fill out that. Um, it asks you for the author, the title, the main idea, details, and on the back of it, it um, or on the second page, depending on um, how you're looking at it, um, it asks you to plan what you're going to say for your newscast, because then Monday, yesterday, you should have done the newscast on Flipgrid. So there are um, videos. There's a video right here. And there's a video right here that explains what to do. If, the, if you have questions, please either dojo me or send me a message through Google Classroom. But make sure you have these assignments done. All right. 
that would be it. Enjoy your day and uh, have fun doing the main idea in detail.